Yeah, I mean, I think... Let's talk about death. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it gets swallowed up with life, right? Yeah, man. yeah come on, come on. Um, I mean, my life was, tr- you know, obviously when you've experienced people, you've had visions, you've had experiences that always touched your heart with, and ignited that faith inside of you that they are alive. We are surrounded by the crowd of, the cloud of witnesses, wow. heaven, church in heaven and earth. We are one family. They wow. are alive, you know. Um, you know, we saw even there's a precedent in scripture on the Mount of Transfiguration, you know, where Moses and Elijah came and talked to Jesus. They came from the cloud to discuss with him his work on the cross or whatever they were talking about, you know, on the Mount of Transfiguration. And so, um, I've never sought out encounters with people in heaven other than pursuing my relationship with Jesus. But yeah. Jesus has come to me and he's brought different people. But the just to answer your question quickly, yeah, yeah. The, it tr- it, and that has transformed my life because I've realized they're not, they're not dead. They're alive. Wow. They're alive in Christ. And if Jesus decides to bring people to us, they are, you know, there's conversations to be had. There's experiences. There's tutorage that comes from their life. There's impartation. Batons pass, you know, t- from them to us to be added to the body of Christ in this wow. hour. Wow. You know, understanding that's being released to us. They are championing us on. Wow. And when I've seen them in heaven, the love they have for us is just incredible. But, like you, but in a different way, you know, with your dad, with the work where, where Sean saw your dad in heaven. I mean, it's so amazing. When something like that happens, it releases faith into you, doesn't it? It releases right. healing yeah, from the right. grief. Right. So for me, I mean, it's a very long story, so I'll just share, share a little snapshot. But um, with my mum, you know, I'd, I'd, my mum was an amazing lady, but struggled with mental illness, as I've shared. So a lot of her ability to love me in the way she would have wanted to had she been a healthy lady psychologically and emotionally, she was robbed of. So I was robbed of that. She was robbed of that. And um, of course, when she died, I was in enormous grief, even though I had my rich, wonderful relationship with Jesus. And, and I knew the theology, and, you know, and I'd had right. experiences with people from the cloud. But when your mum goes, somebody you love dearly goes, the grief is horrendous. And so I was in Im- immense grief. Um, but then Jesus began to redeem everything that was lost after she died, you know. And so the, one of the first experiences I had with her was six days It was on the sixth day after she had died. I was in immense grief. My daughter was 10 years old. I'd had to tell Faith, my daughter, that, you know, her beloved granny had died, which was horrendous for her. And my brother, I'd had to tell him. And so we were living in the experience of, you know, a close member of my family gone and the impact of that. And I had just taken my daughter on a school run on the way back. I was just talking to the Lord and I went into an encounter with him and what happened was I found myself in the meadow in heaven and I saw my mum. I saw my grandpa coming in the distance to greet her and I saw my mum and she was she looked about 30 years old and in this life she'd become extremely overweight, she was very very ill and she was in her 60s and in the as I saw her in the meadow she was about 30 years old, she She looked young. She was kneeling down and she had her arms stretched up in the air. And I heard as clear as a bell her voice through the Spirit of God inside of me say, I'm young and I'm free. Live your life to the full. Wow. I, as I heard her say that and I came out of the experience, all the grief lifted off me. So there was an impartation into my life that remained. The grief lifted off. The other beautiful part of that that part of the story. This is a whole long story, maybe for another time, yeah. but, but just to encourage people who are listening or watching, Jesus is outside of time. The story doesn't finish. If people go through natural death, we, the, I believe we're in a generation where we're going to start to be like Enoch. We're going to slip yeah. through the realms, yeah. you know. Yeah. I have faith for that. But, um, you know, as people experience death, it's not the end of the story. You know, if relationships are not fully restored while people are still living, if the, if relationships remain fractured and broken, if wow. things are not put right, 
Jesus is outside of time. The story is not finished. He is redeeming all things. You know, Ephesians 4 tells us he ascended to begin the restoration of all things. So he's continuing his restoration of all things work continually. And he will wrap everything up into conformity with the counsel of his will and it will be perfected. We don't know how that's going to work, but I started to experience that with my mum. I got home and I think it was a couple of days later from that experience, the grief had gone. So I went through my mum's funeral without feeling grief, literally pouring love into other people through the funeral, being a witness to the grace of God through that whole experience, being able to be a strength to my daughter and my brother and other family members and my dad. You know, even though they'd been divorced for a long time, they remained good friends. And he was, he'd known her since she was a teenager, you know, so it was a devastating loss for him as well. But I got home and a couple of days later, I received a letter from a dear friend of mine who had been in New York airport and received a message to say, please pray for Liz. Her mom has passed into heaven. She wrote, she didn't know anything other than that. In the letter, and I still got it, she wrote to me, Liz, your mom is in the meadow in heaven. She's young and she's free. Live your life to the full. That's incredible. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. So the Lord just went, here you go. Wow, I'm going to confirm you, what happened to you. So he can do. He can do anything. He is our sovereign, majestic God, and that began a journey that's been extraordinary. Where I have seen my mum in heaven. You know, I've seen her in glory. I've wow. experienced her imperfection. I've experienced her mummy love that's now perfected in Christ, flowing towards me. You know, we're all one in Christ. So I think we're in the most amazing time, aren't we, where these experiences are opening up to us. It's like the veil's getting thinner and thinner. You know, we are one family in God and the veil is lifting and our eyes are being flooded increasingly, the eyes of our heart with light, you know, to to comprehend and understand who he is and who we are even more and to experience, experience heaven on earth, you know, to bring it. Like he says, pray, have, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Well, we've got to be in heaven to know that. You know, we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. Yeah.